take your fucking shitty, shitty fucking fedora and go eat a dick. There you go. My God. I think half the people in that fucking Gonzo opening aren't even there anymore. <laughs> Alright, we're live now on Gonzo. So it's good. What Donnie Bounce? Bounce, nigga? We're having a good discussion. Donnie Bounce, Bounce, but uh, Smelly Ellie's in here. Oh, Ian Ellis, what's up? Oh, Ian. Maybe his microphone's off. But what was Donnie even the fuck talking about? <laughs> like, I didn't even get his point. Don A was defending his decision. Uh, Ought to be Tony to Robbins. The, yeah, he took the compassionate route. Uh, well, you know, I, I, you think everybody over here? Uh, maybe you need to do a quick recap of what happened. All right. Uh, <clears throat> so Don A, of course, called in the Jimmernam during the legendary crying stream where he cried like a bitch. From hey, beginning explain to, to end. the folks at home. Explain to the folks at home. Just how legendary this crying bit It was amazing. Was. At the first video, I think he deleted from everything. He only does it from three, so YouTube, Twitch, and Periscope. Uh, so he deleted all three. Thank God Ross Dog caught all the audio. And then go back to Sane's Entertainment Channel and watch it before we play all the audio, make amazing jokes and shit. <laughs> um, so Donna did a call in and tried talking him off the ledge, but it was even sadder. And we were talking to Don A, but he left for some fucking weird reason. We were yeah, asking Don him was why he went Don, Tony Robbins on his ass. Yeah, Don, Don was basically explaining that he, he, when he called initially, he was not attempting uh, to leave Jim and Am any hope. So I think that, he, uh, he saw my name and he got scared. Ran off with his tail between his legs. Ian, I have two questions. First and foremost, do you think... Ian Anus is a great diss name to you. And second, was that... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. That was the answer. Were you the one calling in a Jim and Sam today and doing like a southern accent? Yeah, I'm uh, Anthony from Colorado, and Ian Anus is way more original. I usually just get P and Ian. You've come you, up with like two of the best diss names so far. All right, first of all, you tripped me up because what were you doing, a southern accent? Yeah, I've been trying to disguise my voice so I can get on. You disguised it pretty good because I was like, all right, this southern guy can't be Ian. It sounded like you a little bit. But you I was didn't like, know it was Ian? You did not know it was Ian? No, I kind of knew, but from the southern you know accent, how, I didn't know 100%. You know I Ian? Because he was supposed to be from Houston. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't disguise my voice for shit. Like, three sentences into it, I just come talking to my normal voice. No, I think you hit it. I th honestly, I think you hit it pretty good. I like. I thought it was you because of the shit you were saying. That's the only reason why I, I, I thought it was you. That wasn't a real Texas accent. <laughs> well, I like I, okay, you guys. I was saving this for Gonzo. Uh, when we were on earlier, I googled the name to see if there was a new Discord link. Yeah. And what popped up was this little thing of beauty from the. Bakersfield Sun Beacon. It says here, police were called late Saturday to a disturbance involving a man under the influence of drugs or alcohol outside. And it says the convenience store. I'm not going to give the address. Okay. When deputy arrived, James Young Nam, 40, of Bakersfield, was apparently under the influence and had gotten in a verbal altercation with a female outside the convenience store. Wow. The woman reported Nam allegedly yelled threats and insults at her 14-year-old daughter regarding a parking spot in the front of the convenience store. It was Holy released on $100. Yes, Nam 40, and it gives his address, was released on $100 bond and will appear before Rich Voss on August 4th. All right, all right. <laughs> Okay, okay. I was going to say, this is too good to be true. Because I was literally about to say, is this real, nigga? I was really about to say. All right, you kind of got it smart. Kind of got it. I had you. You, you, I had you. You had me, nigga. I was about to say. Because that's something he would do. But you had me, my nigga. You had me. <laughs> nigga had me. I had yeah, eight, we nigga, 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 as you were talking, I had eight videos lined up. <laughs> like, all right, dude, this, 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 all right, motherfucker, you got me. 
You got us all. When we yeah. were talking, <laughs> when when we were talking about Artie earlier, <laughs> I remembered that about a month and a half <laughs> ago, you had me on fucking Google because there was a video that popped up that said R.I.P. Artie Lang. Oh yeah, can I use that thing? Well, cause I had to send traffic to that second channel I started, so that's why I did that. I did a Rich Ross <laughs> blog. I said Artie Lang so dead, you- but I did a classic one. He died of laughter seeing him in Ridge Ross at a thing. So. I, I thought, I, but that was I, a good I one. That was good, Mark. That was really good. That was dope. You had me, <laughs> nigga. Was, you got me, pretty, nigga. You got me. You got me 100%. I was like a $100 bail. That's a life sentence for him. But we had <laughs> We got to give Mark credit, though. That was an amazing one. He had us all. He got us all. What's good? Are we on Gonzo? Yeah, we're on Gonzo right now. I don't see it, but all right. Yeah, it's up. I just looked at it. Yeah, it's up. So your other live stream had 94 views. What's Gonzo sitting at? I had 94 Ooh, live right viewers now. and 94 views. Nigga, <laughs> which one was it? There's a difference there. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, don't, I can't check my live views on Gonzo. Oh, yeah, it doesn't say it. He would be on Petty Mayo and DMAR, the Bounty Hunter show. Wasn't Patty Mayo the chicken one out with Doug Funny? <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that who Pat, Patty Mayo was? Remember that show? Patty Mayonnaise. Patty Mayonnaise was her name. That's my You know a song yeah, I'll never Patty get Man. out of my fucking mind? Durango. Durango Doug. This dog Durango pork Doug. chop. The dog is dog he used pork to put chop. A belt on his head? Yeah. What did he what was his, Wait, what was his, what his, his name? name? Yeah, I don't remember it. Yeah, pork chop the dog, his name is Durango Doug. I don't remember the superhero in it. He wore the outside the underwear on the outside of his uniform. <laughs> what the yeah, fuck yeah. Was his name? <laughs> Hold on, I'm looking it up. I'm looking it up. Skeeter was his best friend. He was blue. Roger with the bully. Patty Mayo with the girly dog. I don't remember his fucking name. Quail Man? Quail Man. I yeah. think that's what it was. Why was it Quail Man? Did he like Quail? What was what's going on there? Maybe it was maybe it was some sort of dig at See, where the I, show was. I, I grew up like I never saw the Hey Arnold where the movies came along and shit. And Helga finally admitted she loved Arnold. I was in that precious time as a kid where you watched Hey Arnold, Doug, Angry Beavers, Dude, the Angry Beavers Monsters, the all that. But you never saw the conclusion. <laughs> yeah, you got too old, you grew out of it, yeah. yeah. The people in chat want to know what show you're talking about. Which hey show? Arnold. It yeah. might be a little older. Hey oh, Arnold. Oh, Doug. You were talking about Doug. Yeah, it we were talking about Doug that. originally. He had a Q on his shirt. He had a, he had a Q on his shirt, remember? And the whole theme song goes do 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 do. It's Doug. Recess. What about Angry Beavers? That was. Love Angry Beavers. Booty head. I loved Angry Beavers. I loved Angry Beavers. That was my shit. That was a lit, and that was one of the late ones that came along. Like they came along at the end of that shit. It was still good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did. Weird piece of trivia I just learned the other day. Their last episode wasn't allowed to air because it was too controversial. So it was canceled an episode early. Who? Angry Beavers. How the fuck really? was Angry Beavers too controversial? <laughs> I, got, I got no fucking idea. I was on some YouTube poll and it was one of those fun facts. CEO is here. Uh-oh. Where you at, John? I didn't watch Are you right? kid. Yeah, I remember I didn't watch Aria Monsters, Penelope. I didn't like our uh, real because that was around the time of Cat Dog. I didn't really like Cat yeah, Cat yeah. Dog and our real monsters. Were I dug the premise? Of, like I'll say one episode. Was Run a Stimpy when they were on Nickelodeon? Yeah, and yeah Run is to be okay. But our real monsters, they did one good episode. Like they were monsters that lived in the sewer, and they said the Super Bowl was like their best day because everyone flushed the toilet at the same time. So there was mad like water in this <laughs> during it during the Super Bowl. But that was the only episode I like. I didn't like that. I didn't like Cat Dog. I didn't like. Do you remember um, that shitty Lee drawing cartoon about the kid in a wheelchair? No. It's, yeah, it's a weird one. I can't figure out the name of it. Most people don't remember it, but it wasn't that well drawn. Are you but talking was, about a Burger King commercial? No, that wasn't the show. No, it was a whole cartoon. No, no, no. Let's use use some references that Glisto remember. Like, you remember, like, Dobie Gillis and Green Acres? 
I remember Green Acre because you got to remember at the time I was a kid that Nickelodeon at Nick at Night and all the Nick at Night with the black and white shows. So Green Acres, I don't, and then Son in Law came out and they made fun of it. It was funny, but I remember the original Green Acres. Do you remember the first show they showed on Nick at Night? At least where when I was growing up, it's What would you do if I sang out of tune that one oh, of you? Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't I remember that being that the first show. show. I don't remember I, I, I guess there. I do. I remember the yeah, show, but I remember on uh, Nick and Knight. Or oh, I love the Cosby show. I fucking love the Cosby I show. That. Lisa Bonet, I've always loved her. Ew. What I remember from Nick and Knight, Nick and Knight for me was um, what you said. The one I don't remember the one, but I remember Laverne and Shirley. That was on. Dad, uh, what's her name? The chick who threw her hat in the hat in the air. She was like Maybe the more. Yeah, that show was on there. Uh, Golden Girls, I think it was on there for Nick and Knight. Nice. Nice. I'm guessing I goddamn was, member Barry. Rocco's <laughs> Modern World was my shit. The lowest. No, wait, 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 wait. First of all, it's Rocco's, yeah, it's Rocco's Modern Life, not World. Rocco's yeah, well, and Heifer yeah. and the Fat Heads. <laughs> I, I remember the end of that, uh, the, the intro to that song, you hear Heifer going, that was a who? That's always my favorite part of the intro. But that was the time when they're doing the run the Stimpy type of animation, when they had like weird, disgusting shit. So run the Stimpy, shit, yeah. So run the Stimpy and Rocco's Modern Life were like kind of not the same cartoon; they're different. I love Rocco's Modern Life more than Run the Stimpy, but they had like this weird, gross out type of drawing shit, which is pretty dope. Yeah. Now you look back on it. <sighs> Do you remember Pete and Pete, those two redheaded boys? I hated that show. I hated that faggot with a fucking tattoo. She, I turned my arm this way and she dances. I remember that episode <laughs> of Halloween where they're trying to go between the time zones. Oh, I fucking hated that show. Those two yeah. redheaded queers. Fuck them. I hate that fucking show, Pete and Pete. They both stink. And that older one was in that fucking... He was in fucking um, Home Alone. Fuck him and fuck that show. That show is so stuck Ian on ice. Now that we're at the top. Nigga, I was so hey dude. Nigga, I was hey dude and eat your shorts. I was hey dude to eat your shorts. Not Pete and Pete. Pete and Pete. This, this, kid, <laughs> this kid, Birdie and Refugee just hates it because that's the first time he realized white people had a higher quality of life than him. No, no. <laughs> I don't give it to white people. Yeah, yeah. They're like ultra white. How those redheaded faggots. I don't even have running water. <laughs> now fuck you. I oh. like hey dude. I like salute your shorts. I hated Pete and Pete. I always hate his dumb. I got a tattoo on my arm, and now we're doing Halloween. I fucking always hated Pete and Pete. I dog <laughs> fucking <laughs> hey dude. Hey dude. I like salute your shorts more than hey dude. But um, both those you know shows. Then you went into your uh, cartoon. What was that show? Where that girl had that boy who would always come up her window with the it would hit a ladder would hit and he'd crawl up. Uh, Clarissa Sabrina. explains it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jimmer, what was Jimmer it? Man's childhood. I almost said. I almost said Sabrina explains it all because she was Sabrina the witch later. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right though. And she had a brother Ferguson, another redhead freckle faggot. <laughs> it's closer to explain yeah. it out. Hey Kyle, put the link for the show in Discord. There's people looking for the show they can't find. Oh wait, Toelli just okay, never mind. Okay. So, what show? We're talking about a bunch of shows. People are okay. looking for the show in Discord. They can't what find show? the Gonzo podcast. You two are a pair oh, of retards. The fucking Gonzo show, you goddamn. Well, I get the link in the last thing. They should all came here, motherfuckers. But we're yeah, talking they, we're talking all the Nickelodeon really, shows. Don't fuck us no up. Clue? I think you should send Gonzo a green screen. You had no screen. clue what show I was talking about? No, because we were talking about old Nickelodeon shows where you thought you were talking about them, not the one we're on right now, motherfucker. So people in Discord oh, can't find it? We were okay. in the zone. I was out of Discord. I he just said Clarissa, Clarissa explains right. it. I thought you meant Sabrina because I forgot she went on and did Sabrina the Teenage Witch yeah. shit. But I remember Clarissa explained And what, the, what was her neighbor's name? Sam? Her best yeah, friend yeah, was probably really is. fucking her if it was real life. And her dumb yeah, brother, yeah. red-headed Freckled piece of shit, Ferguson is her brother. <laughs> All right. So speaking of that show, like her older sister, or auntie, or something, was that bitch that went on to do like the magic squares? What happened yeah, to her? Yeah, career? Yeah. What the fuck happened to her? She get me too or something? I was. Uh, yeah. uh, what happened to the nigga from not Double Day? I I didn't like Double Day. I liked the one they did one. with the like the oh. ancient thing. Remember the ancient you know thing? That... Wait, what? 
They had double day on Nickelodeon, but there's an ancient thing where they yeah, run like a, double, to a, a temple or the, some the, shit. There's yeah, some yeah, ancient yeah, shit. Yeah. I like that one more than Double Dare. Mark Summers was the dude at Double Dare, but I'm talking about the yeah. show where they did the ancient shit and like the ancient head would talk. That was my show. Remember, do you remember wait, 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 Summer wait, 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 Sanders wait. saying, Simmer down, simmer down, simmer down? Yeah, the simmer Summers down. dude, he was Double Dare. I'm talking about the ancient show, though. No, I forget no, no, the fucking no, 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 name. Not, not that. Do you remember the show and it would have Danny Tamborelli usually on it and they'd get slimed and they would have to guess? On a head, it would be a head, and a little boy would be like, "I have a talent." Sam Roberts was on it. The show Sam Roberts. Was yeah, they got Double Dare. I said, "I'm not giving a fuck about Double Dare." I'm talking about they had like some show, where, like some ancient head would talk, and you had to run like through a forest jungle gym or some shit. Yeah, I don't remember that one. I forget the name of the fucking show. You're talking about Double Dare. No, Double hey. Dare is like an obstacle course. This is like a guest show with like guest celebrities. The that was Double, Double Dare. Dare. That's the Double Dare. Double Dare. Hold on. He was on uh, Oprah crying about how he has OCD. No, it wasn't oh, Howie I'm Mandel. Gonna I'm going to look up the name because I know. It was not. Nah, he's thinking of Howie Mandel. It wasn't Howie Mandel. It was Eric Summers or some shit. <laughs> it was his name or something. Summers was his last name, I think. But, no, um, no, but, but that's why we're fucked up because I remember a show with a lady named Summer Sanders. Yeah, I'm thinking that. Summer. But she took over Double Day. I'm not talking about. I'm talking about. Saying it's called like ancient about, something or something. The show I'm talking about was, Nickelodeon. The Hidden Temple. Hidden Temple. That's what it was. It was Hidden Temple, right? That was it. It was Hidden Temple or some shit. The name I'm thinking about. The Nickelodeon show. What's the guessing game? What's the guessing game called? Dude, you're thinking so, of Double Dare. That was Double Dare. Double Dare did all this shit you're talking about. That's what nah, it's... Double Dare. A Double Dare, they were doing shit. This one was a show where they were just sitting down. I think down he named Hidden Temple was the one I'm thinking about. Oh, Figure It Out. You don't remember Figure It Out? No, I don't remember. And there was this head, and it was on the wall, and they would like, <laughs> you know, they had blank, and, and everybody had well, a guess I remember one this body. old school Nickelodeon show where um, Cuba Gooden Jr.'s brother ran it. What the fuck was it called? Like Little some, Bill. No, some summer show. It was like called Wild and like I know Nick Cannon does Wild and Out, but it was like Wild and Out in the early but they were like camp counselors or some shit. And Omar Gooden ran this shit. Keep it good in, I'm older than you niggas, so you not might yeah. not be remembering what I'm remembering, but I remember he ran some like summer camp show like that. Oh, I'm looking it up now. Look up just old Nickelodeon shows. I'm back getting all these okay. right, by the way. <laughs> Wild and Crazy it's, Kids. Yeah. Wait. There you go, Tom. Which one? Is that the one where Omar Wild Gooden Jr.? Kids. Yeah. That. Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. And they were like camp counselors or some shit. And it was Cuba Gooding See, Jr.'s brother. Like, like I, didn't, I hated the Wild Thornberry. Oh, I hated that show. show. Yeah, well, I, hated. I hated Wild Thornberry. I, like I, I used to be a skateboarder, and I hated Rocket Power. That's too old, though. I was growing Rock of Power was okay to me. It came out very late. And, and it was the last of those yeah, shows. Yeah, for you, that had to be, it, but it was the that last. Had to be the edge. That was the, no, that was yeah. the last. That was literally... That was literally and I don't I, even think it lasted that long. They were trying to do like a Dogtown and Z-Boys type of deal before yeah. Dogtown, Dogtown and Z-Boys came out. But Rocket, I dug Rocket thing. And of course, everybody loves Keenan and Kale. Yeah. Did you, did you ever see? Um, Are you afraid of the dark? <laughs> no, no. Oh, you know, yeah. Did you see Fallon bring them back together? Yeah, he did. That was a great I skit. Uh, as told by Ginger, that was getting told. That was like Cat Dog and stuff. As told by Ginger. That's hey, it. Hey, Cat Dog. Legends of the Hidden Temple. Yeah, that's what's going to Legend of the Hidden Temple. He brought up well, a wild and out kid. You, like, you didn't like all that? Oh, that this was okay. That. I, 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 I like Keenan Kel way better than all that. Who loves yeah. orange soda? Kel loves orange soda. I, they did so many. They did that so many times, but so many funny bits off of it. <laughs> I, I remember the episode where they showed Kel's ribs, and it was all orange. Like that's just funny to do. <laughs> like, they showed this nigga Kel's ribs and it was orange. Like you drink too much orange soda, Kel. <laughs> and that Coolio singing that fucking opening theme song.
But not can be old school Nickelodeon. Nothing. Nothing on the level. Nothing except for like AMC, Netflix. Oh, shut up. Uh, Trevor Snick, um, Ed, 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 and Eddie was. I remember when that came out. Yuck. Yuck. But Ed, 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 Ed and Eddie came up in the Dragon Ball Z and Toonami time, so they were late by those standards. No one gave a fuck about Ed, Ed and Eddie. That's why you don't see anyone at Comic Con dressing as Ed, Ed and Eddie. Ed, Ed and Eddie fucking stunk. I'm nice. <laughs> Snick was the best. I remember um, Sniz and Fun. You remember what was the show? The Action Team Now. The Sniz and Fun do. Kablam! Yeah, I don't remember Kablam. I might be. I'm showing my age, right? I remember Kablam. Kablam was some weird show with that Sniz and Fun do and Action League Now. But Action League Now was like some action figure. I can't explain it, but it was fucking hilarious. And they had a cartoon called Smith and Fondue. And then another, like, short, which is action figures called Action League Now. Shit was too funny. I still watch that. What do my kids watch now? Oh, Penelope. They're on fucking... The kids in 2000... They, they're on fucking YouTube watching unboxing or clips of Spongebob. or what do I want to watch? They're watching they're other kids play Minecraft. <laughs> Yeah. So they're watching unboxing videos of shit they can't buy, just shit that they're trying to get you to buy. No, they can buy it, but not even that. They're watching videos of, they watch it, like me as a kid, I watched that Peter Pan movie 50 times, but they, they have access on it. They, it's not like me when I was a kid, I had to put in the VCR, rewind it, and watch it again. They got instant shit, and they have recommendations. So I can't tell you what they watch, honestly. My kid, oh, my, my kid watches Mad Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> Does he? <laughs> you let him in the stage. Y'all remember Bananas in Pajamas? Bananas in oh, Pajamas. Oh, They're coming down, oh, the down the stairs. Pajamas yeah. in Pajamas. <laughs> Those, that right there, that show, that's my earliest memory. I hated that cinema. show, and I never watched it. I just remember the theme song. Bananas in Pajamas. They're coming. I never watched it. Do I hated it. I remember the theme remember song. Their name? No. They had the worst. It was B1 and B2. Like, they'll sound like placeholder <laughs> names. I don't remember the theme song halfway to. I'm glad that didn't become a thing now. Maybe they use the record you know people Jim, become a thing. Wait, wait. You know what Jimmer's kids watch? Is what? Strangers Fuck Their Mom. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jimmer is taking me tonight on the street. <laughs> Well, that's probably true, so I can't Jimmer, deny it. Jimmer watches, too. That's why he's crying all the time. <laughs> Mark Glister called him like a kid toucher twice. But, um, Cosmic, Bananas Pajamas were too late for me. I just remember a happy yeah. theme song of Bananas. Because it was a weird thing, because they were a puppet show, but the opening was a cartoon. So it was weird. Yeah, yeah it was weird. Yeah. It's some Australian cartoon. Like, it's funny with those shows. That show in Pete's and Pete, I don't remember a single episode really. But I remember the show, but I can't re recollect a single episode. I hated Pete and Pete. I don't like Pete and Pete. You guys had a Like, you guys, the, the amount of shows you're naming off, it's like maybe because I'm in Canada. Yeah, you live in a dumb, stupid fuck. You were too busy creating new maple syrup instead of new shows. Well, you probably, had both <laughs> yeah, you probably had a nice childhood. We got raised by our TVs here in America. God damn right. The Steve Harvey show. That show, like, that's all I fuck. That and the Super How about this? You know this from Steve Harvey? You know that main dude, um, Merlin Santana, got murdered? Listen, you can't talk about street hockey and then say that you had a hard life. It's well, no, I'm talking to CEO. You know the Steve, <laughs> you, you know the Steve Harvey show, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, the, you mean uh, the black dude? Yeah, he got murdered. He, <laughs> yeah, he, 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 was, he, he was fucking this dude's chick, and the dude came out and blasted him and the chick. So he died in the Steve Harvey show. Not in it, but I think it was the last year of production. 
and his name was Merlin Santana. He looked like Joel Santana. And um, he's fucking some dude's chick, and he got blasted in his car. I remember the Steve Harvey show, too. I don't think Actually, it. That was the one show. I watched that show like a motherfucker. Yeah, my yeah dad but the main black dude got murked. Because I, I, I love Bullethead and that dude. Yeah, Bullethead Bullet the white. His name was Romeo. Yeah, show, Romeo. Romeo. Yeah, Romeo got smoked. Um, Bullethead was a funny character. <laughs> Bullethead was like, he was white and had, you know, the classic white dude. He's like, oh, what's up, dude? But Romeo got okay. smoked in real life. Why they call me Bullethead? Because I got a bullet in my head. Yeah. <laughs> Now, Kyle, this might be more regional, or maybe this because this was on local TV. This wasn't on like a uh, Nickelodeon. Do you remember a show in the '90s about a black kid with a club foot named Wayne Head? No. <laughs> no. Wayne Head. Wayne Head. The party's just begun. No. Wayne Head. Wait, yeah, it was great. It was a great show. He was like in the Harlem. It was like based in Harlem, and he had a club foot. Now I remember the so, PJs. You know Eddie yeah, Murphy's PJs cartoon. PJ yeah, yeah. pro- and had a crackhead dude. I don't remember the show you're talking about, but I remember the Steve yeah, Harvey show. What? See, I was talking about Romeo got smoked, fucking with bitches. Fuck. I love Romeo, man. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, got his head blown out. He picked up a j- her um boyfriend, smoked them both. Damn. Like I'm trying to think because we didn't have digital. My family got. Everything after him, like we didn't get internet until like 2005, when everyone else had it. Oh wow! Digital cable until like 2004. Nigga, I had internet in 1999. Family was just cheap, but like we got uh, what you call? But it wasn't that great in 1999. You had the AOL, and I remember I had a great, I had a new compact computer, and you hit the I button and went to straight to internet. With on AOL and it meant yeah, nothing. It was, <laughs> it was weird. Everyone had a keyboard that had the fucking lock buttons, and that was. Like yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. My uh, keyboard had the internet button. It had the thing button. It was so lame back then. When I was a kid, I wanted the internet so bad that I just I would keep pressing that fucking button, and my internet, but I was just praying. I can't believe you didn't know Romeo got smoked seen that show in like at least 10 fucking years. Romeo died last up well not well last season because he was fucking mad bitches. Oh, <laughs> no, it was from fucking like TBS so it was all fucking uh, do you remember that show that wasn't the Cosby show? Had oh wait, wait, yeah um another world or some yeah, shit like world. that yeah. with that asshole <laughs> chick. They followed him to college. Yeah, and the dude had to flip fuck the black guy. I think he might be Black Panther now. He to be back with the flip glasses. They were like inventor no, no. glasses, but they had the green flip thing on it. No, I'm talking about the show. It was like Bill Cosby, but they it was like him. yeah, another world. That's what me and Cam and Cosmic are talking about. Yeah, Black I Panther. Black Panther might have been in that show. He had the glasses, you know, the little inventor. Gla- we had the flip things on them. That used to be the style. People who are old enough to remember the nineties. You have glasses, but you had the like the pink frames flipped on them. <laughs> oh, but like, I don't think that guy, that guy. Are you talking about the dude that lived in their basement? Is Black Panther? Chadwick Boseman. I think he might have been on that fucking show. Oh, Black. You know what? Look that up. There's no wait, fucking wait, wait, way that- wait, wait, wait. Black Panther ain't a new actor. He's a known black actor. And I think he was in a different world. I wait, think wait, so. Wait, okay, he's 40. Yeah, Black Panther is literally 40. No, 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 look at this. Okay, the first movie he, show he was in was in 2003, and it was All My Children. Oh. I don't think it was- oh, Chad McBoseman, the dude who plays Black Panther. It's a different- I, I know what does it do that looks like him? I'm not saying all those people look alike. I'm just saying. <laughs> but I'm just saying. Um, I don't do that. But the Cosby Show we're talking about is a different world. What? What? I always wonder what happened to that asshole chick, the light skinned asshole chick, Lisa. No, no, this is Bonet. Bon- the The Cosby Show, a different world, right? That chick. Yeah. She was in the Michael yeah. Jackson Librarian Girl video. She acted like an asshole. I always wonder what happened to her. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, a different. Okay, so you, yeah, it was the Cosby Show, then a different world, and then just Cosby. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we're talking about. Hey, Sans, I, I dropped a clip in the Discord for you guys to check out later. <laughs> Live review of what? I can't watch that again. It's Cosmic, <laughs> you look fucking. <laughs> wait, wait. I know in the Discord see Cosmic High School picture. You look like Sean King. <laughs> like, I do got my nostrils flared. Now your kid pic, your kid picture, you look like a white boy, but your high school pic, you look like Sean King, Nick. <laughs> All right, go. Who would you drop? I don't know. Is Sean King actually black? No, he got proven not to be black. But he's Rachel Dolezal, but the guy. Yeah, I just don't fly um, by Wayne Head. There's a great video of like a super black guy calling him out. And he responded back to him, but gave no examples of how he is black. But it's like uh, my mother was So is he just crazy? <clears throat> yeah. All I know is um, the Young Turks hired him and then <laughs> never used him because their members well, revolted. He doesn't, he, can't, he doesn't meet their uh, affirmative actions. Exactly. If you go look, go look up TYT hires Sean King. They announced it. They never used them because they got such a backlash from their members of hiring a, a white guy pretending to be black. So, <laughs> if you got blue eyes, I just like. It's not about blue <laughs> eyes, dude. It's the fact that he's white and he got exposed. He's if a white mom a crime, and white dad. If that was a crime, Drake wouldn't have a career. Exactly. Oh, Fair enough. Your fro wouldn't. <laughs> Didn't Not think you were black enough. Scared to grow up because you're for a winning nap and nap. Somebody say something about watching Cosby. Oh. No, God. I used to learn my American accent from watching the Cosby show. And I would <laughs> love to always say to my mama, I love oh, you, yeah, mama. Here, here's the most uncom uncomfortable thing about Cosby. No one to admit to Cosby, his wife obviously fucked a white or a light skinned nigga. Because your first three girls wouldn't be that white. <laughs> well, I didn't drug the bitches, I drugged myself. Oh. <laughs> a nigga like Cosby. On a wonderful mattress? Nigga, a nigga like Cosby can't fuck a nigga like Felicia Rashad. And then your kid come out being whiter than Britney Spears. Well, now, I don't want a kid. You would like was, to join the corporation of the anuses and, first of, and first of, me. Yeah, yeah. First and foremost, Lisa Bonet wasn't the baddest bitch. The older the sister old was the baddest wasn't. bitch. Steve Ooh. Harvey was. No, the oldest the, the oldest the married to the military dude was the baddest bitch. I'd rather no. fuck her than fucking Lisa Bonet. Oh, no, Kyle, you have no idea what you're talking about. It's good to see that Fone has uh, recovered no. from the fan phone beating. No, Mr. Anus. With apologies, I'm without apologies. Or with apologies tonight. Oh. I got my super fan on the phone. Oh, the fat man who thinks he's Mitch Hedberg. Sign up, please. You can be part of the corporation. He's doing the voiceovers. <laughs> you know what, Donnie? You're an asshole. Talent like this, it's amazing you don't have a huge career. It's amazing oh, that shit. you don't either. Yeah, you can't believe you don't have a career either. Uh oh. Uh, so get on Discord, get him. We'll be right back. Get him. Are you guys having a. Oh, you nigga on Discord, get him. We'll be right back. Or something? Now that Sains is leaving, what's going on, guys? What are we, what are we doing here? I have no idea. I just want to tell everyone if you want to be a part of the corporation, you okay. better tell Donnie he needs to do a commercial for me, and I'll hold him, and he can hold me from behind. <laughs> oh, shit. So when you die of a Guido heart attack, which one of your kids gets the empire? Oh, the retarded no. nose or the retarded son? I know one. That's a funny one. That's probably the best one of your whole stand up of your career, Mr. Anissa. Tell me another one. Yeah, I don't know why you don't just change. Like, I already went with. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't love it. Why the chicken cross the road, Ian? Why is that, phone eh? We are still trying to find a gay call. <laughs> <laughs> 
like hey, to be in Hey, why, why did the Guido leave New York? Oh, I don't know. It's got to have something to do with something. Tell me. Could you tell me, please? Because oh. he was ashamed of his son. Oh, oh that was a good one. That was a good one. Are you standing on the balcony? Why don't you go ahead and jump off it, dog? I jump onto my king size mattress. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got a mattress. That's a good one. Hey, what's your wife doing right now? Where's yours, fat boy? She's right yeah, next to me holding the baby. The Is she listening to Mitch Hedberg in her ear pods? Oh. oh, she's listening to phone A, pretend he has a career. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one. I don't really need a career when I got idiots like you. Hey, Kyle, did you do a little boosty boosty? Do we got some energy now? Oh. <laughs> So was it after listening to the the What's second that? inspirational speeches you decided to do voices? Mm -hmm. Syrup, maple syrup that is, and have some bacon. Love you guys. <laughs> All right, Bill. Thanks for coming into the Discord. <laughs> <laughs> the chicken walked across the road to get a gig. I just said the Ian. And he plugged, he got, listen, he did everything right. He got the plugs in, making fun of Ian, everything I wanted him to do is beautiful. He's doing everything I want. Oh, God. <laughs> I love it, man. Oh, oh, oh. I can use it for the promo. I can use it for a promo. Maybe Ross Dog can do it for me. Oh. Donnie rules. <laughs> Are you throwing shade at the Ross Dog? Didn't I think he he's throwing build shade your yeah, throw some Ross shade at God. that. Throw some shade at that motherfucker. Ross Bennington, oh your producer? He's the one who does all the work because you big fat lazy bastards can't even do anything right. Oh. <laughs> I love how Donnie's voice drops out at the high point. <laughs> 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 well, should be called like the fuck there's out no now. more comedy here. I got to go and try to figure out if I can get to somebody. And, uh, yeah, I'll, pick up the, the, I'll pick up the baton right now. Oh. Get back here, you little coward. Who's a coward, Mitchie? Who's a coward, Ooh, Mitch Hedberg? Oh, uh, well, you got kind of serious right I there, love though. It when you Mitch, got your, Mitch Hedberg. I love it when you got your ass kicked by Smart. I love this. Stuttering and stammering, couldn't come up with a comeback to save your life. Smartphone, you can't get beat by a smartphone. <laughs> smartphone fucking stinks and I. You can't get beat by a smartphone. Smart. Just keeps talking and talking and talking. So yeah, what were you doing licking Jimmer's balls the other day? Filler Buster, I was getting them ready for you. Thomas and oh, Ian is getting slapped up, so the chat's agreeing <laughs> with Don A right now. So I know. Can't lose it. Smartphone Come on, liar. Mitch Hedberg. Give us your best material, Mitchie Hedberg. I mean, Ian Anus. <laughs> I love Ian Anus. I kind of like that name. I really do. Think Google it. a joke. <laughs> Google a joke quick. The hey, you you oh, oh, shit. You told you the you Google you, joke, nigga. Did you, you, you Google you it? Use your green screen to find a family that likes you. Oh, that was a good one. Maybe he's green screen in some he's grasping for us. straws again. He's grasping for straws. You're good <laughs> grasping for straws? It's a choking hazard. Not gonna work. Ross Dog, please, please make me a video. <laughs> I need to get a view with apologies or without apologies. Any way I can get it. Oh. <laughs> Ian, I gotta, I'm giving it to Donnie so far, nigga. <laughs> what are you doing? What's the matter? Did the cat get your fat tongue? Can we get you to, that's the Puerto Rican. Can we get you to plug Joe Boney as well? Don't try and bring it to your outside plug thing. They're making another bit, no, no, nigga. Deal with the nigga trashing it right now. Don't try, bring, don't try and say, oh, go. I'm going to try to make this a bit follow Joe Boney. Deal with the nigga trashing it right now. That's called he can't find any content to come back at me. So he'll go after my family or try to bring up somebody else. So <laughs> he'll go. Go. See, he he's no. He's dressed like you run a bowling alley. Oh, I seen your big fat ass on the stage. 
staring at all the patrons nachos. You just can't wait to jump off nachos that stage. If you're <laughs> so you eat somebody's it's, food, it's, you big fat motherfucker. Serving nachos you're, you're such a big fat ass. You can't even stand on the stage without blocking the light. <laughs> such a failure. You had to suck Jimmer's dick. I'm so glad I'm your manager, because I'm going to try to call and see if the bowling alley will let you come in just for about yeah, 15 let's, let's minutes. Talk about your calls. Let's talk about your calls. You know, <laughs> the boys are going to get him. Where is he's he? Did he, he get the lost? They're going to fuck him up. Oh. They're going to fuck him up because you're a real guido, aren't you? Yeah. I, well, yes, he called me. He scared me. He's a real bad motherfucker. He scared me. I was so scared yeah, of that phone call. Oh. I love how he's still doing Bill. Cosby during the whole time, by the way. <laughs> he scared me with that phone call right because I called him a lizard. He's a greasy lizard, and I want his lizard cock. <laughs> I want his big lizard cock. So, did Don, gotta... did Don A say that Ian can't focus on his comedy? Uh, I'm not say, I'm I'm not not he's breastfeeding his no, baby Mark, right don't now. Interrupt. Let him go. Don't interrupt. <laughs> Mark, you better stop. Talking, I'm trying to breastfeed my baby right now, Ball. <laughs> <laughs> I just let him go. I just let him go. It's just too funny. Hey, watch out. I got to go pick up these pennies so my son doesn't eat them because he'll choke on them. He's 35. He's retarded. No, oh. oh, that's a good one. No, oh, maybe you can talk about his grandma, too. Why don't you do that, Ian? I think well, his grandma's got Alzheimer's. <laughs> Let's give him some good material, <laughs> Ian. He's got Alzheimer's. Forget about her failure of a son. I oh. found out that his grandma actually is in a wheelchair. Let's use that against the ball. <laughs> all right, Ian, I'll give you some advice. Got more legs than Donnie's show. Ball. Oh, where's the <laughs> Ian Ellis' show? Click on Ross Dog's network. That's where you find it. Ah. <laughs> Let's go look for Donnie's show. Is it playing in With the ball apologies. With without apologies. <laughs> Why I'm wouldn't tell, Matt I'm let you do a show I'm over there? there. I really wanted to be over on Matt's show. <laughs> you know, give me some advice. He's doing a hilarious voice right now and destroying you. I don't care if his shit. I don't care if his material is good. I don't care if his material is good. I don't care if his Please, 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 please do something because nothing's working for you right now. Yeah, let me go <laughs> I don't know if his material is good, but the voice alone. What works. Now let me listen to some nigga with bigger teeth than me. That'll give me the answer and then I get my life together. Oh, it still doesn't make you funny, unfortunately. <laughs> You're not funny at all. I'm gonna call the CEO, tell him how to get his life together. You know, Jim, if you ever read this uh, Tony Robinson, that'll turn your whole goddamn life around. Save me. That's why I live in Kentucky. Going all oh, you got him. <laughs> Come on, tell him a little bit more about what he did. Uh, he called me. He called me. I moved to Kentucky because I finally had the courage to start fucking my cousin because my wife don't play with my <laughs> anymore. That's pretty funny. <laughs> I like that one. All she does is drink wine and talk about I how think her he made a funny a failure. Did the comedian make him funny. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. The comedian made a joke, I think. Oh, maybe. Oh, that's I mean, Donnie's running this shit because his, his voice well, is hilarious right now. Somebody? I can't believe Broke Bar it. won't let us do a show on his network. Why can't Broke Bar let us do a show over there? Oh, hey, even he rejected us. Oh, you're really oh, getting him, yeah. Ian. Keep on going. You got him real good. He's on the road, <laughs> son. <laughs> this voice this nigga is doing is too. He's only owning you, Ian, because the voice he's doing is hilarious. <laughs> I had to open up a mattress store because my wife won't let me sleep in bed with her. Oh, that was a good one, Smelly Yelly. Get him again. Give him another one of those one twos. You're such a funny, <laughs> clever, witty guy. A uh, uh, pussy's almost as retarded as our kid. Uh, oh, that's, that's so nice. <laughs> Looks like my brother. Oh, that's so good. At least you didn't say anything about the big piece of chicken I that stuck the... on your face, you fat fuck. Oh. <laughs> Are you saving that piece of chicken for a later? Because you got a big piece of fried chicken right under your nose. You don't even know it, you big fat fuck. Oh. My brother 
grandmother's in a wheelchair because she had tried to kill herself when she saw I ran a mattress firm. Oh, that's true. She I think herself in front of a bus. So. That's a good one. I googled. I also think his grandfather wears glasses. You could use that one too, Ian. Go, go on, get him, get him. You don't get have him. a grand. You don't have a grandfather. Your grandmother's a hoe. You have no oh. idea who your grandfather is. Your daddy don't know who his daddy is. You come from a long line of not knowing who fucked that bitch. Ooh, oh, who's fucking your big fat ass? I'd like to see her and shake her hand. Oh, at least you're <laughs> able to have a baby and make a baby. Where'd you find your little wee wee? I got some It's a your wife. And if she's not a fucking, and she's a licking my asshole and kissing you in the mouth. Ooh, so that's a good recipe. one. You better switch your boobies. I think your baby's getting hungry. You better switch your boobies. <laughs> oh. My whole culture comes from the movies. Uh, which movie are, are we good fellas today? No, no, we're a god the father. That's what we are. That's my history. That's right. Let's watch some more movies so we can talk about the Don A. Oh. I think you got the Soprano episodes. We can find some material against them, Don. I, I can only, only imagine what the manager is doing right now. Uh, I wanted to seem successful. Yes, Tom, I'm loving this. <laughs> right, I gotta, I gotta be a Don Azone in you, nigga, just from the impersonation alone. The problem is he's not even doing me; he's doing a CEO. Okay, I know, I'm doing, I'm doing the CEO. You're so dumb, you don't even get it. Oh, I'm doing hilarious. the CEO. I'm doing the CEO, telling you how to get Don. You fucking dummy. You don't even understand the bit. Oh Ian, shit! Ian, it's it's time to go go to Jim Florentine's mm. comic clinic. Yeah, you gotta oh, take a class, shit. bro. Take a I think, class. I think man. I gotta take Phone's comic clinic. He's got one over on me. I can take I can take the next sales of one of my businesses for an hour and donate it to your comedy class if you want, bro. Oh shit! Work. Yeah, and and the worst part about this is you're gonna have to go tell your comic friends tonight you got schooled by a civilian. And you also got to look at your baby in the face all. <laughs> He's got to see that you're his daddy, you big fat fuck. Uh, tell him why you can't stop beating all. It's not civilian. It's pronounced a Sicilian. I'm a real Italian. That I'm doesn't even... Ian. There's no punchline there at I'm all, you big dummy. You have Ian. no punchlines. You're just saying comments and words all. <laughs> Ian, this is like the first time you came on Kyle's show. This is the first time <laughs> you fucking, you fucking gotta get Donnie. Damn, you even, the CEO, even the CEO is turning against Ian Ellis right now. Even the CEO is turning against Why Ian Ellis. Why, Why am I fighting? Why am I fighting your enemy? Why don't you get in here? This is your fight. I can help you out here. You can be on your own. My God, the CEO turned against you. You the CEO is they're, not removed, they're, rem is they're removing you Ian. from the board. Ian. The Ian. board had a meeting. You better oh kicked God. out, Ian. The board is moving out without you. Uh, <laughs> the current Ian LLC, LLC forward. You're not involved. The board met, had a meeting. <laughs> you got over by Don A. Come on, dude. <laughs> you know what? He told me on at least a dozen occasions I can die bigger than me. He's like, Ian, we Ian, really don't need Ian. you. I'll kick you out of this firm if, if you don't do what I say. You know, loyalty is not big in our corporation. No. You were on show. This is how it went. To this is not good. <laughs> he's got a point. I got to say he's got a point. Bro. Ian. Ian, my power's out. There's nothing I can do. You got to listen to the CE dope. No. Oh. Yeah, Donna, I, I do like that you came up with a name for me. I like that. I like. I know. I see you're you're, you're actually like using that. it as your name now. That's funny. All right, guys. <laughs> peace out before I start fucking liking this guy. I don't want to do it. Peace. I know. No. Have a good night. We had ten minutes of the show. We wasted half the show on that. <laughs> it was hilarious. hilarious. That wasn't a waste. Ian, that was the best Ian. part of the show so far. Ian, he got all the plugs out. He fucking did you get him to? I, I when I fucking got disconnected here. Did you? uh... Did you get him? Did he say I'm bleak? No. No, Looney, or just no he, was saying, he was just smashing Ian. Ian had nothing. He couldn't handle the impersonation. I feel the corporation is trying to turn this into a victory somehow. I know. It's not happening. You got the owned market is. He by Don A. Money. You got owned by Don A. Listen, hey, listen. Don hey, A said, hey, give hey. me your lunch money, nigga. And you gave him your lunch money and promised your milk listen, money listen. tomorrow, nigga. Well, 
He has your lunch money. He needs your milk money tomorrow. You're going to give it up. Shout out. And your thermos in your lunch box. He gave us in the commercials now. Tomorrow, you're going to bring in your Buzz Lightyear fucking lunch box in your thermos and you're giving it to Don A. Don A right now owns you your lunch money, your lunch box, and your thermos. I am going to. Don A doesn't know I'm on reduced lunch. Don A took a sip of his nigga's thermos and spit in it and said, here, have the rest. That's what happened during that shit. Donnie took your thermos and said, oh, that was good spit in it and said, here, nigga, drink that and drink it. That's what happened. I think we're going to be putting you, honestly, on uh, a sabbatical. And Mark Lista (laughs) is being promoted to full Ian Ellis privileges. Uh, Well, that's okay, because I've uh, made Smartphone my new CEO. He's going to be running the corporation from now on. Yeah. What? You're going to be taking a leave of action. Yeah. I, I can't yes. have someone who's stealing boxes and rooting for phone A running the corporation. So you're out of here. I'm not rooting for none of that shit. I just... I CO, should right. should be ha- CO should be happy. He's having a nobody who's poor and Mexican and illegal Mexican Texas run his operation. Yeah, you know He'll what, be Ian? fucking deported pretty soon. <laughs> so. Yeah, you know what, Ian? You'll come crawling back. Mark <laughs> Lista, I'd like to welcome you on board as the new full-time Ian Ellis. Uh, the corporation is stronger now that the guy. I don't. I don't Ian, think you Ian. can get Glista. I think he's too big for you. Smart. I have to watch that Macaulay Culkin, Joe Rogan. Sorry, I was. It was pretty really good. It was pretty good. Mean, uh, smartphone's gonna run it for a week, but smartphones are getting deported because <laughs> it's like a Mexican. Yeah. Smartphone. <laughs> smartphone is gonna. Smartphone is gonna be like, yeah, I booked you up in Montreal. All you gotta do is send me your passport. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We'll be fine. Yeah, send me your, send me your passport. <laughs> send me your banking information. The deed to your house. Ian, just a just a passport. Just a the passport. The corporation, Ian, didn't turn its back on you when you got bitched up by Kyle, and now we just ask you to go on a sabbatical and you fucking join Smartphone. No way, man. Yeah, wait. Wait till he gets paid in pesos. He'll come fucking crawling back. <laughs> oh, he's gonna come crawling back. Good, good luck, Ian, with your new fucking CEO. This Mark Lister, uh, I'm glad to have you aboard. Mark I'm, Lister is I'm glad I'm the, the, have an American the second, uh, yeah, he's not an American. He's illegal Mexican. The, right. the second he goes, let's, hey, let's um, Ian Ellis, un momento, por favor. Which will yeah, be attended let's be real. <laughs> let's be real. Let's be real for a second. This is this is all funny games, but there's a part of Ian that's sitting at home, completely crushed and defeated right now. Well, oh, 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 oh. I don't know why he would be. Well, no, no, no. I, he, I, wait, wait. Ian, well, you know, well, Ian's that, be uh, uh, Yeah, let's also be real. Smartphones are an illegal Mexican pretending to be white and make twenty thousand dollars of a month yeah, over no, YouTube. But he's, like, but he's broke I don't know why he would be fucking down. Like Ian, yeah, you. I With guess apologies, without well, apologies, why are you what? down? He I got all the Mark Lister, down. we're happy to have I you mean, here. I mean, this is what we Whoa. got from Jimmernam originally. Uh, you know, now we got Don A giving the plugs out. Like, everything went well for me. I don't know about you. I was disconnected <laughs> here, so I don't know, but it went well for well, me. Well, I almost feel sad. You can't believe in – you don't believe that illegal who said it. I make $20,000 a month over YouTube. But I'm broke for his co-host. He can't. His laptop broke and can't afford a new one. But I can't send him a new one. (laughs) Let me bend knee and say that Don A bitched me up. And that was great. And I love that he had a good attitude about it. And I think that was wonderful.